Hey guys, so uh, I want to do a quick little comparison of the uh, speed and performance between the Sh Xiaomi uh, Redmi Note 2 on the left and the iPhone 6 normal from 2014 so we can see uh, how the Xiaomi compares here. I do like comparing uh, budget Xiaomi against uh, I Apple because they are very similar in terms of like the software and it does enrage a lot of people as well I've noticed uh, for some reason but you know I think uh, it's interesting because the uh, Xiaomi costs one fifth of the price but in many respects can keep up with the the uh, iPhone so let's have a look here how the the uh, Xiaomi Mi not me, Redmi, Redmi Note 2 can do. So you can see we do have it here. And I'm just going to open up some apps here, both of them up to date, iOS 9.0.2, fully up to date. And, and I think everything's closed down as well, so you can see nice and fair. So we can see here the iPhone takes a point. Oh, Xiaomi 1.1. One, one. And what else do we have? Uh, we do have the camera. Oh, so the iPhone slightly ahead there, but not hugely. Phone, about the same and clock wow about the same look at that uh, we do have the play store so wow very similar again maybe the iphone that little bit quicker but you know i'm not complaining and also youtube YouTube, where are you? In fact, let's do messaging quicker here on the Xiaomi, which is very nice. Uh, I think we do have YouTube here, you know, it's just hiding as usual. Surely we have YouTube. Maybe not, maybe we don't have YouTube. Wow, that's weird. Um, what else do we have? Probably not the best prepared kind of speed test here, but you know, we can make do. Calculator, about the same there. Uh, what about some uh, apps here, such as the, uh, do we have some stuff? GTA. So you can see very nice and quick here on the uh, the show me about loading a new game. Oh, Apple A8 still very potent there. So slightly faster on the uh, iPhone for loading that, uh, but I, I was kind of expecting that really. Uh, I think we also have music as well, might check that out. A bit quicker here on the iPhone. So I think in general most of the apps there were open, that's a light bit quicker on the uh, iPhone which I was kind of expecting. Uh, it does show me how its own browser, I'm not sure. In fact we'll just stick with Chrome for now. And let's just try and go to some websites. Tech radar. So quite similar here. Maybe the iPhone kicking the link a little bit quicker. Um, Kotaku. What Kotaku? Gold. 
Wow, so it's showing me. Well, in fact, it looked like it's showing me then, but the picture loaded quicker on the iPhone. But the link loaded quick there on both of them. And we're getting annoying ads. GSM Arena. iPhone again. Phone Arena. Wow, so the Xiaomi definitely came up quicker there. And that was about the same. Xiaomi doing very well here against such an expensive phone. And GameSpot. Go. Oh, show me again. So I'm probably going to give this to the show me because it should kill in the iPhone here. No doubt about it. And that is pretty awesome, if you ask me. Uh, we can just have a look as well at some of the multitasking here. Whoa. Just go back to WhatsApp. So very slow there on the Xiaomi. Hopefully we can get some nice speeds. Uh, we also want to have a look at the camera. So a little bit quicker here again. But very nice elaborate kind of uh, you know animation here with the Xiaomi. It's all about the animation. So a little bit quicker again on the iPhone, and this uh, multitasking is annoying me, so I'm not going to do too many. Again, iPhone, about uh, GTA, so reload here, we do only have 1 gig of RAM versus 2 gigs going to give it a point to the Xiaomi very nice performance there and also web browser so the iPhone kept that in memory Play Store again reload here I saw it you know, don't try and sneak away with that reload iPhone, I saw you. So I'm probably going to give this basically uh, like a draw here. Uh, yes, the iPhone was like quicker on a few of them, you know, at the start. And this one as well. But, you know, those reloads, I do notice them. So I'm going to give it a draw. And that is very good performance here for a phone that costs like a quarter of the price and we can just have a look here at uh, the camera performance on both of them so I did do a uh, comparison here because you know I think uh, it has to be done at the end of the day we have to see you know what we're getting when it comes to these uh, phones so you can see here uh, that uh, we're getting a 13 megapixel camera which does widescreen shots in the uh, Redmi and I have to say I've been very impressed with the colours etc on the uh, Redmi it seems to be uh, very nice and pretty the pictures that it does do uh, is it any better than the iPhone? You know, I'll leave that for you to decide. Personally, I found it quite uh, comparable, more comparable than I would have thought, actually, because the iPhone has a fantastic camera. However, you are crippled with the like cropped proportion, and it means that you can get more detail into the shots on the uh, the Xiaomi. So, you can have a look here. You know what you think. 
Uh, one area where I think the iPhone is a bit better is in terms of the low light. It seems to hold like more realistic colours. I did notice like kind of like an orange tinge on some of the shots I've taken with the uh, Redmi for some reason, but maybe they'll fix that through a software update or something. So I don't know about you but I'm very impressed with the uh, Redmi Note 2 here. It's kind of like ironed out the issues I had with the Mi 4i which was a fantastic phone but was let down by laggy performance and inconsistency. You don't have that issue on the Redmi Note 2. You can easily go toe to toe with phones which are like six times as expensive so you know I'm really uh, enjoying the Redmi Note 2 here and you can see it compares very favourably to uh, last year's iPhone 6 which is pretty awesome. I might do a comparison with this year's iPhone 6s just to really annoy some people as well but yeah just a quick little video here hope you found it helpful and uh, if you did don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!